The Story of When Six Sailed to the Land of Multiplication by Sandra Edwards. Six was a perfect number, beautiful in every way. Six had a strong identity. She knew who she was and wasn't about to change for anyone. Six was adventurous and decided to sail to the land of multiplication. She thought everything would be bigger and better there. Six said goodbye to her parents and sailed off to the land of multiplication. Six's parents told her, don't forget who you are. Six said, don't worry, I'll always be your six. Her parents replied, be sure to keep your identity. When she arrived, she noticed all the numbers were multiplying. Six's parents' last words kept going through her head, keep your identity. Six began to panic. She didn't want to change. Keep your identity. Six was approached by a multiplication officer. He was yelling, you must be multiplied. It is the law. Keep your identity. Six was a good number. She didn't want to break the law. Keep your identity. What should Six do? How can she keep her identity and not break the law? Keep your identity. Six chose to be multiplied by one. One didn't change her. He was a true friend. Six kept her identity. Here are a few follow-up ideas. Slide two said six was a perfect number. Well, perfect numbers are when the sum of its factors equal itself. For example, the factors of six are one, two, and three. We don't include six itself. When we add one, two, and three, it equals six. That's what makes six a perfect number. You might ask an advanced student to look it up and share with the group. The second follow-up comes from slide four. It said, she thought everything would be bigger and better there. Now, is that really true with multiplication? If you multiply 1 half times 10, the answer is smaller, 5. But many kids think that when you multiply numbers, the answer is always larger. To reinforce this concept, you might create a CCD with an action in motion. The teacher might say, identity property of multiplication. And students would say, don't change me, times 1. While saying don't change me, they would pretend to hold up a mirror and look in it with their left hand. When saying times, they would cross their arms in front of their body. And then when they say one, they would hold one finger up on their right hand.